Let's talk about something that uh, I think needs to be discussed. Mm. You uh, have had this incredible success with Ant-Man. People love uh, the Ant-Man franchise. <laughs> Very funny. And whenever uh, someone achieves this uh, iconic status in our culture as a superhero, one of the uh, perks is that you get an action figure. Yeah. Your action figure came out of Ant-Man <laughs> And I want to talk to you about the face of your action figure. This yeah. is the actual Ant Man. <laughs> 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 uh, what an asshole! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, they made it. Ant-Man's a dick. Yeah, Ant-Man's a <laughs> Look at that guy right there. Or a stroke victim. I don't know. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like one of those They should things use that... this in hospitals. Yeah. If you see this, get that person to a hospital right away. Yeah. For people who are suffering from Bell's palsy. <laughs> what? Did you have any, uh, any say on this guy? No. No. When I saw it, I just started laughing so hard. Uh, because it's like somebody, some guy designed this. Or is it, it could have been a woman. I don't mean to judge. Uh, yeah, you yeah. Know, it could uh, be anybody. Could, could be, be anybody. Any gender. But it really makes me laugh that somebody put time into this uh -huh. and sculpted it. And, and not uh, just that, a panel of people. Like that yeah. had to go through there are numerous channels. people. Like, yeah, 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 the smirk. Somebody, Definitely the smirk. <laughs> Someone came in and off. went, make it look like this. That's what they did. I don't, yeah. <laughs> somebody signed off on it. Yeah, it's true. Um, <laughs> but that's it. That's. Yeah. Uh, how do your. You know, I'm just curious. This, uh, how do your. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yeah. 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 Look. Look, right there. I think it's Terry Bradshaw. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not. It's not yeah. Terry Bradshaw. It's Andy's right. In the dark, it looked like Terry Bradshaw caught it. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wearing pants. Uh, you know, uh, this has got to be interesting. How do your kids feel about the fact that you're a superhero? Do they, are they, how aware, they've got to be aware of the Ant-Man phenomenon. Oh, yeah, yeah, very much so. They're, you know, they're, um, they're kind of, well, they're not grown, but they're 14 and 9. Right, right. And so uh, they're very aware and see all the Marvel films, and they love the Marvel films, and their friends go see them. Uh, but that's a, f a pretty new sensation, uh, not to quote in excess, but I will. Um, the, uh, <laughs> yes, that's the it's, level of my humor. It's in excess, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> you said in excess. You, you. you said the, in excess. In, in excess. It's in excess. I know. Isn't it? It is. Okay, I didn't know. I forgot. It's been a long time since I thought about that wonderful band from Australia. <laughs> Give me what you need. Give me what you need. I, I loved In Excess. I loved them too. Yeah. They were fantastic. We've yeah. totally gone off on a, a terrible tangent. And I'll bring it back around. No, no, no. no. We don't yeah. ever have to get out of this cul-de-sac. Yeah. We can stay right here, but <laughs> welcome to our 80s podcast. Do you yeah. know that I once went, I saw In Excess once? Went, uh, I, by the way, I do say everything wrong, and my kids make fun of me for it. I say ice, ice cream. like. I say things yeah, you're, weird. You're emphasizing the wrong thing. It drives them insane. Right. Anyway. <laughs> ice cream. So you, so you say to your kids, hey, let's go get some ice cream. It's my. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even, but I'm, I'm not even aware of it. Right, I right. say I say things incorrectly. Yeah. And I don't realize it. Eh, it's all fine. It's all good. My wife says TV. She says it's TV. on TV. I'm like, what? <laughs> TV? Got, no, 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 no. She says, oh God, I've already, I've already gone off the rails. <laughs> TV. TV. She says a yeah, you she know says it's weird. weird. Where is she from? Uh, she's from New Jersey. Oh, I asked for a reason because I got to meet Bob Dylan once briefly backstage and someone pushed me forward and Bob Dylan was there and I'd been on the air at that point for about 10 years. Never met him since. The iconic Bob Dylan, I got pushed in front of him. He had the little thin mustache at the time and he went, I know you from the TV. Wow. And then that was it. I was pushed away and I was gone. <laughs> but that's how he said wow, it. Yes. I know you from the TV. That sounds almost more traumatic than my Terry Bradshaw yeah. run. And that's, yeah. A fully clothed Bob Dylan saying uh, yeah. TV uh, uh, is more frightening 
than a naked Terry Bradshaw. And I'm picturing with a mustache, and I'm just picturing Floyd the Barber from the Andy Griffith show. <laughs> no, you from the TV. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, but anyway, about Ant-Man. <laughs> uh, we just went to NXS, Bob Dylan, and then Ant-Man. OK, here we yeah, go. Yeah, my, my, my kids think it's pretty cool, but they never, you know, it was the first thing I've ever done that they have ever even seen. I grew up, or I grew up, they have grown up knowing that I had this job, but it was never really, it's not part of our lives in that way. And my son, when he was about five, they went to, the first time he ever really had any kind of awareness is he went to a movie theater and there was a movie poster in the theater that my, I had, my face was on it. And so he and his friends thought that I just worked at the movie theater. <laughs> and I'm not so sure I ever did even dissuaded him from thinking. No. Like, yeah, I think that, it's good kind of to think yeah, that. Yeah. My kids still don't know what I do. <laughs> <laughs> I go off and they yeah. think, oh yeah, he's in real estate. Yes. Uh, <laughs>